1969 Edsel limo. Good luck ever seeing that. Yes, we are. Sorry. Not intentional, gang. Unfortunately, due to being traveling, my data on my phone quit. Fort McLeod, right on. Yeah, absolutely, gang. Let us know where you are. King Eric, right on. We are at a massive cruising in Sherwood Park, Alberta, with Cold War Motors in attendance. What's going on, nightlife? Yeah, it is, Todd. It's a one of one 59 Edsel. We'll take you up and down the rows here. Got a 57 two-door Chevy. Pretty much everything is represented here. Corvair. Jimmy Ford, what is up? 57 Ford with a Coyote engine, maybe? I'm not sure what that is. I'm not a Ford guy. I know it's a newer Ford engine, but... I do know about Bricklin, so we'll take a look at this. This will have a 351 in it. Yes, ma'am. You don't see many Bricklands. Yeah, it is. That paint on this 57 Chevy is next level. Corvair with a 140 V6 or flat six. There is a C6 Corvette, I think. I think that's a C6. S-Dime. Killer old Chevrolet pickup truck. Fox body pace car. Somebody that parked in the middle of the cruising. A Royal Lancer. I think that's what that is. Yep. Yes, sir. Look at that, a red ram hemi. Beautiful. Sorry if the wind's getting too intense there, guys. Beautiful. Carefully walk between these so I can get a shot of the interior for you guys. Royal Lancer, I believe, is a Canadian car, yeah. So, guys, I'm walking sideways between the two cars and making sure I don't touch anything. This is a custom Royal. Dodge. Also a custom Royal. Oh, here you go. Here's a Canadian car. Mercury Montclair. Beautiful. A little Volvo 1800. Beauty. There you go. There's a new Roadster and an old one. Big line of pickup trucks. Oh, look at that. I think that's a 38 Cadillac. 30, I don't know much about, I think it's a 38. Is it? Yeah, okay, cool. Look at that. Wow, I love cars like this. Look at the Art Deco grill, like. That's a special car, right? Eh? That is a very special car, exactly, yeah. Very cool, yeah. That's really nice to see. I like that Montclair right there, too. Oh, is that nice, yeah. That's and this, did you see this Fairlane that appears to be? Almost original. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Oh, okay. I'm hoping Andy will bring his down. He's got a 65. That'd be nice. 
see that. That was the first place we did. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, there's a 68 Charger. Cool. Yeah, they're cool. I, For me, though, stuff like this is just special. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 68 does. Chargers are cool, but you go to any the meet and you... That is a treat, yes. What color is this? It looks like. Is this one green too? Uh, yeah, I guess. It, what would you. It's green, yeah. It looks a little like well, colored Yeah, I'd call it. Yeah, forest green maybe. Yeah, like. Just. Stock. Kind of my preference. Yep. You just get in and drive it. The hot rods are cool too. But yeah, they are. But uh, I'm the same way. I do, I do like a nice original car. Yeah. Something can be said for original cars. Yeah. Someone, that means somebody's cared about it its whole life, right? Yeah, that's, really, uh, that's really neat to see. And like old Henry or whoever came up with those brakes. That still work perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You grease them up a little bit. Yeah. It's like it's like a forest green without the. Yeah, the Royal Lancer and the Custom Royals. Those are, and they're all stock. They got red rams in them. I like that little Volvo right there too. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's a rat rod over there. There's a national hot rod right there. Okay. Yeah. Here's to be an X armored car. A Galaxy drag car going by. Good, yes. Yeah. My buddy there owns the police car. I want to go look at the cop cars right next. We're at the end here. I'm going to go look at the cop cars. God, I haven't seen them yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're down just right there. Over here? Yeah. So, I'm a big service vehicle guy. I love service vehicles i also love a big landau top continental there you go you didn't want one of these behind you in the 70s because you weren't getting away didn't matter what you had Sorry, I'm taking it all in here, guys. This thing is sweet. <coughs> Look at that. He even got the flower pattern back in the day. <laughs> you can say they've been in the back of the piece. Yeah. It is a cool old cop car for sure. Radar. No AC for them back in the day, man. Old Fargo. There's a nice old Chevy truck, Bobo. That's what I like. Yeah, that thing's cool, but I like that. Ford Cup cars are cool too, but I want to look at this old truck. As we all know, I am definitely a truck person.
sorry bud. This is what I'm talking about. Cheyenne 10 Super. So this is your fully loaded equivalent of a today's LTZ Chevy truck. God, what a cool truck. I'm not a Chevy truck guy per se, but it sure is nice. Yes, the Mopar cop car does have a 440 in it. Check the Ford right on. 400 in what? A 400 in this Chevy truck or the cop car? The cop car has a 440 in it. He's a friend of Scott's. The truck has a, according to the Pender badge, a 350. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad on the mic, guys. I got the, the small cover on it. Oh, there's a clean 12 valve Cummins. That thing's as clean as ours. Sweet. Oh, you didn't have to do that, boys. Thank you. Bobo. Yeah. Thank you, George. It's greatly appreciated. Oh, a little AMC. Big Pontiac Parisian. That's the... Uh, same kind of car that they drove in Los Bandoleros, one of the Fast and Furious ones. AMC Hornet with the original Devonian motors. There's a ton more up here we're going to see, guys. I just love stock cars like this. There's a whole bunch of fancy new Mustangs. I don't know anything about them. They're new and fancy, gang. We're live on YouTube. So if anybody asks a question about these fancy 5-liter coyote engined trying to keep up with a Hellcat. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a Dodge guy? Sounds like it. Although, I'd say this one wouldn't have so much of a problem, would it? Wow, that thing must boogie. It goes okay. Yeah, it goes all right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I swear I'm not a new car guy, but that's, that's badass. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, that is. Like, <laughs> How fast is it? Like, that's Hellcat fast, wouldn't it? Uh, this is 864. Yeah, so, crazy territory. Yeah. Yeah. 860. Yeah. What does it weigh? 3,200, 3,400 pounds? Maybe a bit more with all the safety gear and the doors and stuff? Maybe a bit, yeah. Yeah. I will say, I'm not a Mustang guy, but I've been standing here now looking at it. It, it is nice, man. You did a good job. It's clean. Here's something I'd drive. <laughs> Mainly because I can afford drum brakes. All right, let's go take a look over here. Oh, Grand National. Here's a bucket list car. I do want one of these. Oh, this is your, whoa, dude. It's a Vauxhall. Sorry, guys. I like oddball stuff. Just random Vauxhall. I I'm looking at a Grand National. A Vauxhall drives by, and I'm like, whoa, cool. I don't think I've even seen that car. That's crazy. Yeah, these are nice. But I'm weird. Like, the Vauxhall went by, and. You don't see those? No. Let's take a look at the paint that Scott did on this Econoline Boogie van. Well, that's too bad we were saying if it was sunny, it actually really looks nice. Yeah, they, it would pop. Yeah, you'll have to uh, park it under the lights when we get back home. Yeah. But, uh, 
it still looks pretty damn good. Oh yeah, it's not. It's, it's just good. without the sun popping it. Sparkles, you don't really see all the metal break and it just looks like really understated. Yeah, sure. It's not supposed to be understated. It's yeah. It's supposed to be over the top. Yep. <laughs> Uh, there's no GNXs here that I know of, gang. There's a two Grand Nationals. <laughs> How long did it take you to paint this, Scott? Like, uh, well, we did body work for maybe four weeks and then eight weeks of painting. <laughs> I think. That's gonna say. <laughs> Looks like maybe maybe it was the other way around. Maybe it was eight weeks of body and prep, and then painted it all black, and then we started painting all the stripes and shit. Because <laughs> it was a white van, so we had yeah. the whole inside and the floor and the door jams and everything. And then we had to put the flares on. And that's after Ashley spent all winter welding. The whole bottom of it was rusted off. Oh, okay. So we had to uh, we had to make rockers. We made the cap corners, and it made the uh, you know it made a lot of the body. From scratch. Yeah, from scratch. Because they don't, they don't really make stuff for these, do not they? Not much. Not no. much. You couldn't get very much. Uh, Ashley got very lucky. He found one NOS door jam or something. Okay, and yeah, the yeah. The rest of it we had to make. And, uh, and, and the flares were really, they came, they came down like this. We didn't like those, so we cut them all up and redid them. Redid them, them so they looked like this. Yeah. Well, they were overpowering the tires, and you want the tires to be the thing, yeah. right? So, the boogie van look. Right. So when the flares came straight down, they looked, you know, they, they, were, they were overpowering it. the yeah. tires, and the tires are pretty big. And You're so looking not, at well, flares with a van, yeah, not right. van wanted, with flares. So the, the, the original width at the top, but then we tapered them all back in and then molded them to the body because I wanted it to look, you know, like that's how. Oh, there's Andy there. Oh, there you go. Nice. So they're asking, is it the van a 70 and does it have a mattress in the back? Yes, it's a 73 and yes it does. 73 and yes it does. <laughs> oh, you're lying. Yeah, I am. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I'm just brought in my belt. No, I, that, I wanted to know. So are people asking all about it, right? Yeah, that Sandy's car that he bought in high school. That Ford? Yeah. Yeah. I bought that from the junkyard. The junkyard? Yeah, it's a $200 car. <laughs> A two hundred dollar car. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Now. Many hours later. Yeah, I was gonna say it didn't look like this. You oh, guys no, didn't it, just tidy it, it up. Was, no, that's spliced from a four door as well. It was a four door. This was well. The car was so badly totaled that all we could save was the roof and the tops of the quarters. Oh, okay. And then so we spliced it like by fury. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. 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 So most of it's the original car, but the whole bottom half. Yeah, same thing with the Fury, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, wow. Kind of fun to have. Yeah? We were joking the other day at his birthday that uh, the first thing he did when he was a kid is peel off all the hubcaps and throw them away. Yeah. Right? And then when you get 50 years old and you restore it, you go back on eBay and you pay more for the hubcaps <laughs> than you pay for the whole car. Yeah. When you're yeah. On it, you know? Peel the hubcaps off when you first get it and then... Find all the shit you can on eBay. It's just a stock two door. Yeah. And when we were kids, we painted it kind of a Chevy metallic blue. So yep. we put it back to the correct color. And, uh, <coughs> it had a bench seat when it was new but Andy put these buckets in when he was a kid so we yeah. got the buckets redone to match the original upholstery so this is that SMS in the states they have all that old fabric okay yep yeah yep. so we Andy bought the SMS and sent it out and had it all because these we used to drive around with blue outside and a dark blue back seat and green buckets in the front and <laughs> yeah yeah $39 stereo in it and stuff so yeah, it the sparkomatic deck to put it all back to stock yeah. <coughs> We put the white vinyl back to it. And, and, uh, now, did they did they do like what Chrysler does? Is there like a lead seam underneath this vinyl somewhere right uh, around here? Yeah, right here. Yeah. No. Uh, so it's, it's even got bias uh, plies on it. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, we went full grandpa. Yeah. Full back to grandpa. And what's what's it got for an engine? It's 302. 302. Original 302. And uh, 
I don't think too much. Yeah, so it was just nice to be able to save it because it's yeah. beyond repair. And it sat in my barn for like 12 years, and I was like, either fix it or yeah. get rid of it. Yeah, we either need to fix this car. And then when we came up with the idea of splicing it, I was like, if we splice it, you find a good four door, we can save it. Yeah. So uh, about two weeks later, one came up in Drumheller. We went and bought it and uh, just scalped it. And I think it's spliced up here. Yeah, because the two door A posts are different. Yeah. So we had to cut the four door off. Yeah. <laughs> set the yeah, set the Yeah. Doors and fenders and hood are original. Yeah. It was just uh, the actual it had been in a very bad accident. The, the two door one, one had. The two door, yeah. yeah. So the frame was all caked and Is that what put it in the junkyard? Yeah. So yeah. We bought it out of the junkyard and he drove it like that. We patched it up with the bent frame and he drove it anyway. <laughs> and I was like, well, we're not going to restore it like that. So no. A driver is one thing, restored. Yeah. So, and it, the, the car that we cut up was exceptionally good. But it was a four door. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it didn't have, it wasn't the car that Andy bought when he was 16. No, exactly. This is. This is. This is part of Andy's car? This is Andy's car. Yeah. yeah. This thing is, the quality of this restoration, you don't have to be here to see it, guys. It's amazing. The fact that this car is a restored two-door, but, like Scott said, from here is a four-door. And then back here, chop and four-door bottom, and then the center section from the two-door got put down onto it. Just amazing. This is a Vauxhall, a Vauxhall Victor. Makes me think I'm watching old Top Gear episodes or something. This is awesome. The original one with the salty British language and Jeremy Clarkson being himself. Yes. That's the real one. There's other Top Gears? Oh, yeah. you mean that fake crap that That's they right. call Top Gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But I also like Fifth Gear, too. Yeah, yeah. That's what Jeremy didn't like. No, he wasn't he a huge fan of that. Oh, Although him I and Tish it. ended up getting along. Well, you know, the girl that was the driver with that bunch, she yeah. died. Yeah, she did. She died of cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, guys, I think that 5-liter Mustang's not stock. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so you'll have to bear with me here, gang. Here we go. This appears to be as clean as ours. And, yep, it's got the same thing done to the hubcaps that I want to do. And the same tires that I want to do. What size are these? Two eighty-five, seventy-five, sixteen. Uh, it's just as clean. Our paint's better, but this truck is just as clean. Especially for being from Alberta. Holy crap! Yep. Definitely not as nice paint as ours, but it's just as clean. What a beautiful rig. It appears to be, well, I'll look at the VIN and I'll tell you what year it is. Oh, it's an automatic though. Hey, there's Roy Marco from Roy Marco's Garage. Good, buddy, how about you? Scott's um, Fury's parked right over there beside that crazy looking Monza. Yeah, I think there's an empty spot beside him. You could probably fit this Nash in there. Cool, man.
Let's see here. Oh, it's got a pack of gum over that. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. It is a 93. I'm not going to show you guys the VIN, but yeah, it's a 93. Automatic, though. Crazy. This is the only one I've seen that's even close to being as clean as mine. And this thing's from Alberta. Nice. Trying not to feel I'm live on my YouTube channel, so I didn't want to just turn it and be like, hi, everybody. <laughs> People are looking at me funny with the camera rig and everything in front of me. Oh, there's a GS Buick. Hopefully Lunar Outlaw gets to see that one. Nicely done. Take a stroll over here. Say hi to Roy. The nice 72 Camaro, I think. Not sure, not a Camaro guy. Let me see here. It's got a full bumper. So 72, 73 maybe. It's an on the cheap Regal drag car. Yeah. This crazy guy? And look at the excellent shirt that he chose to wear. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Let's take a look at what we came in. I never even showed them this. I got to show them Scott's roof. Sorry about the live earlier, guys. That uh, yeah, kind of ran out of data. <laughs> Roy Marcos Nash. This thing is wicked cool. It's like an Art Deco bathtub on wheels with an engine. Oh, nice. Real Corinthian leather. No, just velour, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Yeah. We are live. See how you fit? No. You you fit good? No, I'm not gonna fit good. Okay. I do it. Nope, not happening. If it's actually very roomy, you'd be surprised. Uh Oh yeah, you will. You will. Fat guy in a little car. Oh, that's okay. I've had. <laughs> oh yeah. See? It's Is that like comfortable? A, it's like a Cadillac in here. Yeah, there's like lots of headroom and. Turn the lights on. That's, well, that, the, these are the uh, signal lights. Signal lights. Okay. Yeah, signal lights are up there. And yeah. What is this? Is this three on the tree? Three on the tree. Yeah. yeah. This thing's gorgeous in here. It's got a back seat. Yeah. For what? Uh, Michael. <laughs> For middle people? Yeah. Michael. Yeah. It's really comfortable. Of course, I am losing weight, so. No, but once, you, once you're in it, it's like, uh, it's like wearing a nice, comfortable shoe. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe how much room there is in here. That's why I said you got to sit in it to believe it. I thought you just thought it would be funny, and I no. was like, all right, fine, I'll do it. I like a good laugh. So I am going to drive Scott's car. Oh, that's okay? going to be cool. So I'm going to see, compared to this, how much room there is. Because here, I mean, it's a little tight for me to drive it, but I could. He wants, uh, somebody wants you to start it for, uh, for them. So here, I'll, uh, I just hide the key up in here. So neutral there. So you just put the key in the, uh, ignition there. Up or down? Yeah, it's up. Yep. So kind of like a Chrysler okay. there. Then just turn it in the on position and then you pull the start knob. This one? Yeah. Oh, cool. There it is. Yeah. Wicked. Is it neutral? That's yeah, a neutral. Yeah. 
And the emergency brake is that handle on the side there, like that lever. Oh, yeah. It's kind of convenient. Yeah. This thing got a Hemi? No. <laughs> no, the plugs are on the side on this. Well, there's people right behind it, so I should probably turn it off. Yeah, sure, you could do that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> And then that also doubles as your headlight switch and your park light switch. When you rotate the outer knob, that becomes your headlights this and park lights. This becomes the... No, the, uh, the, where the key is. Oh. So that's park lights and that's headlights, yeah. <laughs> Neat. And it's even got a cigarette lighter. That's correct, yeah. Is this a clock? No, that's the radio, which actually oh. works in the car. Oh. You turn the key on. If anybody's heard this before, when you turn it on, you get the, the buzzing. Yeah. You can hear that. It's got to warm up and then it should... It should come on, but AM only, of course. Yeah. Oh, it just takes a second to warm up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if it's on a station now. This thing got points? Yeah, it does have points, yeah. Okay. So. There you go. So now the radio's on. Be in the word and be in prayer. <laughs> We're praying. That's it, yeah. We're praying. We're making sure. It would be. Look at that. Tubes are warmed up. And discover that the ladder was leading so the reason I started it, guys, and I asked Roy why it, if it had points was because you shouldn't ever leave a key on for too long with a car that has points because they can weld together. So I didn't want to cause Roy's Nash to not be able to leave the cruise in. I do have a set of electronic ignition to put in this car eventually. It's in the trunk, so. That is sweet. What a sweet. Well, now you can say that. I've been in a Hellcat. I've driven eight second drive cars. And that was cool. Talk about me. There's Holy crap. Take over oh, sure, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, let's see the engine. This is a very common, uh, it's, this is the big block of uh, Austin, England, right? Because, yeah. Uh, it's a B series, so it's yep. 1500. 1500 cc's. CCs yeah. Four the car, cylinder. The car only weighs like uh, 1650 pounds, so it's about 800 pounds less than MGB. Okay. Yeah. So. Sweet. Little carburetor. This has been changed over to a generator, so it looks like a generator, but it's actually an alternator. I love those things. So you had the original look, but you had the benefits of having a late model alternator. Yeah. And Lucas Warren, of course, the whole car is on two fuses, and they're right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, That's one thing I'd like to do to the car. Is we don't there. talk about Lucas wiring. Here, Bobo, you film for a minute. This is Scott's 67 Plymouth Theory that we came in. 318 Poly, 727, 8 3 quarter rear cruiser. A little bit lower, custom paint on the roof. Yeah, it was a comfy it drive. Rides like a Cadillac. Well, rides like a Plymouth. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well. Time is it? How long have we been live here? I don't know, long enough, I think. I don't know. Well, there's a couple cars I wanted to show them. There's a Cadillac and a, and a cool Pontiac like yeah, over here. There. Oldsmobile. Yeah. Not a Chevy guy, right? So there's another beautiful Pontiac. Well, that's what yeah, you can help me. You want to know about trucks? Okay, I'm your guy, right? And like, I know what a 442 is. Well, do you know about this 442? Yep, that's the absolutely. Late model. The yeah. late model. Well, not late model, but... W30. Late model 442. Yeah. This is an Oldsmobile, correct? That would be right, yeah. And See, it's probably five or six. This is the kind of car that I really like. Just, it's stock. Oh, oh I just nice. love just them. Something you can drive yeah. Two tone. You know, middle class. Something your guy that's, you know, bought his first house back in the 50s. Needs a good family car. There it is. And then there's his boss's car. <laughs> Beauty. Maryland, welcome. Oh, yeah, there's more trucks, Darren. Hang on, let's go find the trucks. 
We never showed them the trucks properly. Let's go. Darren asked for the trucks, so we're going to go look at the trucks. Where? Oh, yeah, the 79 Ford, the big 80s retro lifted thing. The trucks from Rodos. Yeah. It's like we're at the parking lot of a monster truck rally in 1988. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, we'll go back down here. There's a Chevy truck. We'll check out the Edsel limo. Sorry, what does that say? What was your favorite one so far? Um, man, that's hard. I would say... My favorite one so far, I really like the one we came in. I would say these, uh, the Cheyenne C10 Chevy truck. And the 66, those are my two favorites. Um, the 66 Chevy truck, this Super B. I mean, I guess that's not one favorite. The uh, Royal Lancer Dodge cars. Quick look at the 440. Nice. Wicked. There you go. There's an Alberta rig. Check it out. Where's Eric when you need him? Beauty. I didn't see any Mercury Cougars. There's a sweet little Barracuda. A nice little Chevy step side right here. Beautiful little truck driver oh 273 great little engine wow yeah greenhouse barracuda yep yeah you gotta love these things you don't see it formula s just beautiful you know about the car show on sunday no the iron indian club okay guys yeah putting on the car show on Kingsway at the Aviation Museum. Okay. 10 to 4. Yeah. Uh, trophies. Uh, Full on deal. Yeah. And nice. The first person with the, the driver of the car gets in half price in the museum. Because the museum will be okay. Free. Yep. Yep. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Let's see the trucks here. My battery is dying. So let's go look at the trucks. So, it's a beauty old Ford. Thank you, Darren. Appreciate your support. Spread the word. Let's get these uh, live streams up a few more people. Beautiful little 480s Ford C10. Here's a nice little GMC. Whoa, how did I miss that? No, man. Wicked. When an A-body is your first car in high school, you love all A-bodies. It's, it's just a thing. Yeah, I'll go back and look at the trucks more. Sorry, I got distracted by the dusters. Only Mopars tear me away from trucks. Mopar or no car. Perfect. Wicked. <laughs> what? There we go. And the hat too. Nice. Love it. Look, he's got the... <laughs> Everybody just sporting the Mopar stuff. So now you got to go subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Mopar based. Coastal Auto Reaction. Spells car. Super easy to remember. Coastal Auto Reaction. Yeah, car. <laughs> Cheers, boys. This is nice. Yeah, this is a uh, 66, I think. 66. Oh, it's for sale? Yeah, buddy. You don't have enough money for that thing. No, I don't. A little 360 in the duster. I remember when 73s, 74, they were, you check them. Now they're classic cars, just crazy.
Yeah, they do have the right apparel on. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys, that's really about it for the car show. Let's go find Scott. We'll get him to sign off for us. Head back over, see what Roy's doing. He's walking around, try to catch up to us. You can hear all the cars. <laughs> Trying to fire up a lot of them. The Starsky and Hutchmobile right there. Huggy Bear's ride. <laughs> A little Camaro SS. There we go. Yeah. I love those cars. Because they're oddball. Just like me. Ashley's van that Scott from Cold War Motors painted. Sorry guys, I'm missing your comments. Fiero? There's a Fiero? Oh, look at that clean Dodge pickup. I got to see that. Excuse me while I nerd out over here on this Dodge Ram. Wow. Sorry, I, I know it might be boring to you guys, but this is where it's at. Look how clean this thing is. Hawk on. Hawk on. Now the Hawk was a 78. This is a 87, I think, by the looks of it. Here, I'll look, hang on. Eighty-five. Eighty-five Ram. This is original too, guys. This thing hasn't been repainted. Like somebody cared this much about a two-wheel drive. Probably slant six. Half ton rent. Nice. Wicked. Yes, it is an 85. All right. Uh, my uh, camera slash phone is about to die. So... I think it would be incredibly fitting if we ended. Oh, okay, we gotta look at this. Look at that. Now that brings back memory. Flip <laughs> that lid so you can hear that quadra no, behind. Whoa, whoa. You can't. Yeah. It's got that holly on it. Oh. Doesn't what are you doing with a holly on it? I bought the truck like this. I'll oh, get your quadribog back on there know, so you can hear that noise. That sweet sounding music. That sweet lid flipped. Yeah. Whoop whoop. Yeah. yeah. Especially with a big block. <laughs> little air ride. Yeah. This is a sweetheart, hey? What a sweetheart. As far as I know, this is the only one. This is all back. Oh, what a sweetheart this thing is. Man. All original. Where did you find this? In your garage. Yeah. Wow. So is that, uh, what, a 261 or something? 235. 235, okay. Wow. It really is. Non-restored. Wow, man. The winters here are long. People take care of their stuff, I guess. Somebody wanted to look at a Fiero. I didn't think there was one here. There it is. Pontiac Fiero. Miles an hour. Like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. But yeah, the guy redid the air conditioning on it, put the new uh, the new system on there. Nice. Fucking bullets cold air just like that. Yeah, no, that port is amazing. Yeah. All right, guys, my battery is going to die. Say goodbye to Scott. There he is. <laughs> 
Cheers. We're going to finish it on Ashley's van here. Look at this wonderful machine. And we will see you guys on the next one. Talk to you soon. Cheers.